Hello YouTube and a happy new year to all of you. May 2018 be a healthy and wealthy one for you. I'm back with a new backdrop. The DIYs are pulsing at the moment. So we're gonna do a different format today. I did ask you what you'd like to see from me. First and foremost, thank you for all your suggestions for the serious ones and also for the slightly not so serious ones. The two major requests were a hair care routine as well as favorite beauty products, especially best of beauty 2017. So since that fits in the calendar, let's do that. Being new to this, I did my research and I have to say, I'm not entirely sure on the concept yet. So is Best of Beauty 2017 only products that I bought in 2017, as in discovered in 2017, or is it products I used throughout the entire year 2017? I've got now a mix of products. I've got some products which I discovered in 2017 and then didn't use the entire year, but just part of the year. And some products I used the entire year 2017, but might have discovered already end of 2016. I'm trying not to dig that much into my absolute all time favorites, go to products and just wanted to give this kind of head to toe overview. So let's start with the first product. The first thing I want to show you is in fact a substitute, the real favorite of 2017 in category shower gel is only in the German video because simply because it's from a brand you wouldn't be able to purchase here in the UK. So I thought it makes more sense to show you something I also really love and like, which is one of my all time favorites and you can get it here. So please welcome with me the Velada Almond Sensitive Shower Gel. Who's been following my Instagram knows that I love the entire almond line of Beleda. Not only shower gel, body lotion, but also the skincare line for the face. I just love that sweet, light smell. And I mean, this one is amazing. In the beginning, I think there was only the body lotion of this one and they just added the shower gel to it. Up next, we do have the shampoo by La Vera, which is almond and macadamia nut oil shampoo and conditioner two in one. This is a shampoo I discovered in 2017. It's one of my, I think it's also new, at least it says like on the sticker. I think that's something they launched in 2017. But this is a winter shampoo for me. As you might know, in summer I have my hair dry naturally and in winter I use the hair dryer. So in winter when I use the hair dryer, my hair, because it's just so thick and so um, a lot of it there, it just kind of gets puffy and and sometimes depending on the shampoo I have to sleep one night on it and I, it's only wearable on the next day. With this shampoo I can wash my hair, can dry it afterwards and I can go outside straight away and it looks good. This is amazing. I'm gonna do a hair care routine so I'm gonna tell you a bit more about how I treat my hair. Next up is a product um, which is the dry shampoo by AQ. AQ, AQ. So this one um, is something special. So it is, so it even says on here for um, brunette to dark hair. So um, it's supposed to be for darker hair. So you don't have this kind of gray white effect on it. To be honest, I'm not too sure if it does that because I mean, it's not, it's not exactly dark. So as you can see, it's not white, 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 but it's also not, not dark. It's got the slightest ever brownish stain to it but it's it's not exactly dark and I mean my hair is not super super dark and I get along with it but if you have black hair I'm not sure if it would make such a difference to a normal white dry shampoo. What I really like about this one is it is without talcum so um, it's a safe to use dry, sham dry shampoo and it is not exactly cheap but also not super expensive. So far I always use the silk powder by Dr. Hauschka and I think this one is half the price of the silk powder by Dr. Hauschka. To be honest, um, for half the price, this one does a really, really, really good job. And I'm really glad that I've discovered this this year. Next is a product which I just gonna say very briefly something to it because this is a sunscreen and sunscreen is not the sexiest thing in winter unless you want to go skiing. That should work for that as well. This is by Biosilis, the um, 50 plus mineral sun protection spray. In the previous years, I always used the sun cream based on minerals and that was really good as well, but it was a cream. So it's more a, a thicker layer. It's more pasty, more sticky. This sun spray 
is really not sticky at all. Um, you don't have this kind of white layer on the skin. It's just amazing. Up next, we move to face care. I've got, and that is, I have to say, an all-time favorite. So nothing I've been only using since 2017, but something I've been using throughout the entire year, which I just recently repurchased again because it's just so good. This is the Cleansing Milk by Veleda. And I mean, I'm trying different cleansing milks and I'm always curious to try new ones because there could be always something better out there. But I have to say that this one is very, very, very close to perfect. It's got the close to perfect, if not perfect texture because it's not too runny and it's not too pasty, sticky. So this works really well to get your foundation makeup, even eye makeup of your face without kind of sticking to your face so you can't remove the product itself anymore. Really handy to use and again it's from this almond line by Veleda so it is a really nice smell and it's for sensitive skin. I think this is even without, yeah this is without fragrance so really gentle on the skin and I've got sensitive skin and I have not gotten an irritation by this. Really good. Next, I'm gonna show the Card Laboratories. I'm gonna mispronounce that all floral rose water. So this is something I rediscovered this year because I remember having this product before, but I bought it this year again and um, again loved it. Rose water is really a staple for me. I use it in my mask. So if I do a clay mask, I mix the clay with rose water. So it's a bit more gentle on the skin. It's a bit more nourishing whilst having the clarifying effect. And it's also a bit more clarifying the skin. And I also use it especially in winter when there's when the skin is rather dry and sensitive. I use it on my face as a toner and I substitute the toner with this. So really a product I often use. So what I like about this is that it's a bigger bottle. If you look at my Instagram, I posted about several rose waters already and many of them are in smaller bottles. So you always have to repurchase and repurchase. And this one is just a bigger bottle, which I find quite nice. And also I think it smells quite nice because some of the rose waters, to be honest, if they're really, really natural and nothing added, you open them and they just smell like like rose petals or roses in some water that stood there for some time in the sun, in heat, in summer, and you then open it. That's how it smells. With this product, this is not the case. So this got a really pleasant smell without having, I think, any, yeah, without having any, any essential oils added because there is another rose water I love and have and that smells amazing but that has essential oils added so I like it and my skin copes well with it but I think if you've got really sensitive skin you could have an issue with that but this one here is really really good. Up next we got something that's almost empty and it is this cream by Valletta. This calendula cream I've been using for a while. So not only just in 2017, but I discovered a new use for it in 2017. Traditionally, I would have used it only on my body for either when my skin is dry in winter or when I have sun-stressed skin in summer. But when I posted about it this summer, someone told me on Instagram that they actually use it for their face as well. Uh, I was a bit skeptical whether the formula was gentle enough and um, would not irritate the skin. But then in autumn I found this cream again and since I anyway wanted to use it up so it doesn't go bad, I thought I'd give it a try and I really really loved it on my skin as well. I had quite dry skin in this transition period from from summer, autumn, winter and my face was really kind of flaky and dry. So I used that for two to three weeks overnight and the skin has perfectly adapted to the colder weather with that and I was really really pleased. We gonna continue with skincare and here I've got the Pi Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. Yeah, this rosehip oil is getting a massive shout out from me because it is an amazing one. I'm trying a couple of rosehip oils because again there could always be something better so I really like to try but what I like about this one is that it's almost a pure rosehip oil so um, look Look up the ingredients online. I don't have it on hand here because it's not on a bottle, but it's rosehip oil and just very little other ingredients. So for other rosehip oils, they say rosehip oils, but then it's 50-50 and it's diluted with something else. And that is a really pure rosehip oil. Some say this is, this is rather expensive, but to be honest, you need so little of it that it's actually not. I use for my face, I'd say three to four drops. I have to double check. Remind me, if you wanna know, I can 
count the drops I'm using for my face and let you know. This is the second bottle I'm using this year and the first one I had from 2016 December up to I think it must have been March April I was already figuring I was already wondering but it must have been March April and then this one I repurchased sometime in summer I think in August and I used it from August through to I'd say November and then I started the one from Aiken and used the one from Aiken during the day and this one obviously overnight because to be honest I mean because of you see it's quite orange your face will get a slight orange tone so this is really something I only use overnight and during the day I used now in winter the Aiken and overnight I kept using this I mean this is again like I kept postponing to finish that because I didn't want to buy a new one necessarily now and so I, I wanted to use the Aiken first and wanted to finish the Aiken as well so um, that is something I want to use up now in January but as I say this very bottle I've been using now since August and there's still kind of a lot in there if you think about it right um, we are through with skin and body care and everything so now we're gonna move to decorative cosmetics if you've made it so far you'll make the rest as well bear with me so we're gonna start with makeup. I've got here the Living Nature Foundation in shade Pure Buff. So this is a really nice foundation. Um, I have to say there is one even lighter than Pure Buff and in winter I would need the other one or a mixture of both. So this one is now in winter because this is my winter skin tone. So this is a bit too dark. But in summer it did fit perfectly. It's not that I tan in summer but apparently I get one shade darker in summer. What I have to say about this foundation is um, because I mean it is a natural cosmetics foundation but it is just really as good as a normal one. Especially with natural cosmetics foundations you sometimes have the effect that they don't last as long or they don't have that much of coverage or they just don't sit well on the skin and with this one this is really not the case. I mean this is like a conventional makeup conventional foundation really so I'm really relaxed when using that because I just know I put it there and it sits. I'm still setting it with a powder but because I'm always setting every foundation with a powder is a fair comparison. Definitely the best one I've used so far. So speaking of the powder I'm setting with, I'm setting currently with the Nude by Nature powder. Um, it's a transparent powder there's just one shade and you really don't need a lot this is 10 gram by the way and if you think about it um, I've been using it since summer and I've not even used half of it and I'm using it on a daily basis I'm using it with a powder puff by MAC and the only thing I might show you I mean this is not the greatest packaging on earth because if you travel with it it kind of gets messy but I can live with that because it's just a really nice powder it just really sets everything well, holds everything in place. Now I'm kind of hooked on this one. Next I'm gonna show a bronzer. So this is from 100% Pure. The bronzer in shade Cocoa Gem. They got it in two shades. It's the lighter shade but even that shade is already dark enough for me and I also use it in summer. The only thing I have to say about this is the packaging because I mean 100% Pure is not the cheapest product and this one literally came apart without me doing anything. It looks like this is glued together and this glue just came apart. So I might as well try to fix that myself because I do see it that I open it one day and it will and it will fall down and that would not be great. Next. Up next I've got the concealer by PHB Ethical Beauty. That one is a cream concealer as a stick. I just discovered this one um, mid-year I'd say and I really liked it because usually the cream concealers they kind of creep to my little wrinkles and creases and they just highlight them which I usually don't have with the liquid concealers but the liquid ones don't conceal that well so it's a bit of trade-off always and this one got both for me it it really conceals well and it doesn't really creep into wrinkles and creases I do set it as well with a powder but it just really keeps in place not more to say about that now we are gonna go for lipstick lipstick I got essentially three favorites in 2017 Two are by Alverde, you can't really buy them in the UK, they're from a local drugstore brand in Germany. So this one I think they don't even do anymore. And this one is, just for your information, it's shade Cranberry, which is a really nice everyday red. What you can buy in the UK is the Inica lipstick in shade After Dark. And this is just such a nice shade, it's kind of an orangey brickstone 
brownish orange red this is just an amazing shade which is not such a common red so i've not really seen a shade like this anywhere else and it's a really elegant one so it's not this kind of bam in your face orange red but it's also not this kind of bam in your face red deep dark red but it's this kind of brighter red that just sticks out without being too obvious and too attention seeking so to say so really really happy with that one and what is the best thing about it is the wear it's got a really really durable wear so i do set that with some powder and it just stays on you can drink with it you can eat with it of course you will see some wear after having food especially if it's greasy food but it really stays on so well so i can definitely recommend it then we've got red nail polish by lagona and i have to say this made it into best of beauty 2017 because i'm just amazed how non-toxic this nail polish is i mean seriously you have to look at the ingredients before seeing this i would have not believed it's possible to make a nail polish as non-toxic as this one is and it lasts in fact it lasts that well that i haven't really found a solution to remove it quickly like really quickly i even bought the nail polish remover by logona because they say i think on their website that this is perfect for this formula of nail polish to remove it so i bought this one but still it's rather hard to remove which i can live with if this has such great ingredients because i mean nail polish is for me a staples and it is the most toxic thing you would usually use in your beauty routine so i'll definitely keep using this one i also wanted to show you this marvelous eyeshadow palette by lily lolo so you might not see here under this light and in the camera how beautiful and special the colors are but you can check out my instagram account there i've got a picture where hopefully you can see the colors a little bit better and it's just such nice and shimmery brown and nude and also red brown darker colors i did have already the late bear palette which i've been using for years and also repurchased and this is just a slightly more special palette it is a limited edition but the last time i checked you could still get it so if you wanted you might get as well now your hands on that and last but not least we almost made it i've got perfume by Lush or Gorilla Perfumes, all good things. This is something I think I discovered already in 2016, but um, only came to fully appreciate it in 2017 and also repurchased it already in 2017. In fact, I even purchased a travel size where I'm now procrastinating to use the last drop of it. And this is just such a lovely scent. It is this kind of sweet but not too sweet i mean it's definitely on the sweet side but it's not too sweet and it's got this heavy vanilla based note and it's kind of a smoky scent so it's on the sweet side and if you don't like sweet perfumes it's probably not for you but if you just slightly dislike sweet perfumes it might be for you because it's really on the kind of smoky and full side and it's it's got this lovely vanilla note without being too heavy so I now came to use it as an everyday scent as well, but I think I started to use it as a scent for special occasions, for going out, whatever, and it, it just really suits you for special occasions and for the everyday look. As well as summer or winter, it always coats you in a kind of mysterious atmosphere. And I don't know, I just always feel good with all good things. So that was Best of Beauty 2017. I hope you liked this format of video. Do let me know what you think in the comments box below. Also let me know if you know some of the products where I said I'm still looking for alternatives. Let me know if you've got a good one for me, if you can recommend me something. This is about sharing experiences. If you liked the video, I'd be happy if you give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. And yes, why don't you let me know what you would like me to do next? You could visit my Instagram account where I'm posting new products I'm trying and some recommendations. And of course, stay tuned here at this channel there are some new things to come in January so bye for now I've got here the slightly not so serious ones <laughs> marvelous God. which yes I'm apparently doing a commercial for Valletta here um <laughs> Um, so pie, is it pie? This very, well, it's not, it's not that I'm, it's not that I'm like, 
and I'm using it not so which is not such a common which is most of the products I'm showing you will have seen already on my Instagram maybe all of them to be honest I think it's all of them I don't really know why we're doing this here and with we're gonna it just kind of gets it just kind of gets puffy and um, if you see what I mean so this is just 